and we are back with another video and you can probably guess what this one is about due to the title but this one is the my why i don't know where to look once again and we're back with uh, my phone being stuck to my window with duct tape sorry about like a sound in the background i actually don't know where it's coming from so i can't fix it i am so sorry but yeah welcome back to a new video um this one was also very requested since i made my first two videos about my journey and just what i have been doing what am i doing with my hair excuse me <laughs> okay so in the first two videos i spoke about my why and i showed you this little book that i made can't find it left it somewhere but i spoke about my little book that i made and i encouraged people to i encouraged people to get themselves a little my why book as well just to help you keep track of your journey to keep you motivated and to help remind you of why you started because i i know it sometimes gets hard um the last month the whole of feb was very difficult for me because we went back into lockdown with schools being closed um, so I didn't have any work, gyms were closed, couldn't go to the gym. I think I gained like two and a half, three kilos, which made me feel very like weh about myself. But then I just went back to my why and I realized that weight fluctuates, my clothes still fit. Um, it's okay to be emotional, hormones change, you know what I'm saying? Oreos are good, so yeah, this is one of those things. But um, I've had a lot of questions about the My Why book and how to do it because the book that I showed didn't have um, a lot of information on it, just had some kind of tips and guidelines. But I went into Canva and I just actually made the whole book for you so that you could fill it in. Um, it's only 15 or 16 pages, which I feel is more than enough to start off with. Um, I don't want to overwhelm you with too much so that it feels like it's impossible to do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and figure out a way to show you on the screen what I'm talking about while I'm talking about it. Display it on the screen while I talk about it. So I went into Canva, as I said, and I made a book. I'm still going to show you, show it to you on my laptop as I'm speaking about it because I'm going to have it in front of me as I'm speaking about it to you. My hair is annoying me. Oh, I got some paper clip earrings and I just had my nails done, orange and pink. Kind of liking this whole two color thing, but I'm not liking what's going on here. Okay, I'm going to start. So, first page, you can see the view. Okay, so first page is, is this flipped screen as well? This is going to suck. Okay, let me do this side. This side. Okay. Um, my health gain journey starts here with my book of why by Melissa Nivote. That is me, by the way. So that's just the first page. Try to make it nice and pretty. Okay, then second page over here. I'm going to read it along with you. So second page says, I am only allowed to use this book if I can sign the agreement. I am doing this for myself. I will treat myself with care, great and grace on this journey. That's very important. Um, I will not starve myself for results. I will give my body the nutrition it needs. Very important. I am all about being healthy and we are not starving ourselves. Okay? Okay. And then last, sign here if you agree to being ridiculously amazing. And this is the part where you're gonna sign your name at the bottom. Okay, next one. More about me. Mel. Just a backstory. I've been on my health journey for one year now and I love it. Um, I have a YouTube video part one and two that explains what got me started and how I decided to make it easy. And I started and how. I decided to make it. I can't really ask me by the way. Um, I decided to make it easy and make this book. If you feel encouraged, um, inspired or start your own to start your own journey and you decide to use this little book, I would love to be part of your journey. So this is just a link to my YouTube 
and then you can tag me if you decide to use this on Facebook. This uh, that is my personal face, not my personal Facebook, but like a Facebook page you can use, and then my Instagram handle. Next page, first one, first page is my why. So you are gonna tell me why you want to be on. Or not tell me. You're gonna tell yourself why you want to be on this journey. You're gonna tell yourself why you want to be on this journey what encouraged you for me it was all about my health being able to be a part of adventure and do new things then i'm ready you're going to put in your the date your weight and then all your measurements okay and at the bottom i made sure to say it's just numbers and they are about to change p.s the person on this page is already perfect because you do not need to change to be perfect we are trying to change to be healthier for ourselves okay so these are all your measurements next page is a nice little picture I made just to show you where you should be measuring so that every time you measure measure you can stay consistent with the area that you're measuring in so it's chest arms waist hips bum upper thigh mid thigh knee calf and ankle those are the places that I measure so I do realize that different people have different methods and ways of tracking. So I did a day track that starts from 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., all the way to 10 p.m. So you can set up a schedule for you like, oh, I want to get up at 6 and I want to work out at 7. I want to have my first meal at 8. It's all up to you. And this is for yourself. How do you plan on creating your consistency? Next one, workouts. We are all in a pandemic. We are all in this together. I myself don't have a gym at the moment. Most of you don't. And with money being tight, uh, gym is not something I would class as a priority to be spending money on. Right now, as much as I wanna be doing deadlifts and the squat racks, it's just not possible right now. So this is workouts. Easy at home ways to move your body. And I just explain what reps and sets are. And then these are easy workouts you can do at home without any equipment besides a jumping rope, but you can pretend to have a rope if you don't have one. Yes, okay. And then it tells you how many reps and how many sets you can do for beginners and then for someone that's slightly more advanced. And even if the beginners one feels too difficult for you, just take about, depending on how many there is, take four or five off and start building on that. So there's jumping jacks, sit-ups, lunges, squats, planks, skipping, wall sits, high knees, burpees, bicycle crunches. And then there's a section where you can add your own workouts that you like to do. Did I add planks? Oh, planks are the worst. Burpees are the actual worst. I, I don't do burpees. Ever. I just don't. <laughs> okay, next page. Another empty page for workouts that you can add, like going for a run or just whatever creative thing you can think of lifting cans of baked beans or water bottles or it's all up to you this is your section and then food it says eat um the eating plan i want to follow so when i say i i mean you okay i personally don't this is what i wrote i personally don't have a set diet but i'm aware of foods that are better and best for my body i eat according to my blood type brackets for google search purposes blood type diet i am a positive and disclosure weight loss happens with a calorie deficit not a specific diet i know i think they said it's like a hundred years ago that the blood type diet has been proven wrong i don't care if it's been proven wrong it works for me my body does not digest red meat as well um, most people eat more red meat than they should be eating and my skin breaks out from cheese and dairy so it's a decision i made by myself to not consume those products and it's working for me and that related the closest to a blood type blood type diet so you don't need a diet you need a calorie deficit deficit means you need to be eating less calories than you need yes google it because <laughs> i'm not google i try to be okay and then here is your section where you can say i would like to try so this is what you can plan out for yourself things that you would like to try you could say i would like to try one week of not eating any pure sugars or 
dairy or red meat and you can print this out and have as many of these as you want because you can try as many things as you want okay okay next page okay this is something that's not not the best for me better for me i don't believe that there are good foods and bad foods obviously if you're eating like nine big mac meals a day there's it's going to be it's not a bad food it's a bad choice of consumption yes so here are things that are not the best for me which would be a whole slab of chocolate or in my case red meat dairy and a few other things i can't think of now but yeah and then these are this is a list of things that are i know are better for me so i would use this as a way of finding something you can use instead of the things that are not as good so don't completely wipe it off to say well instead of having a steak i'm gonna have a salmon steak or a tuna steak or instead of having a cadbury slab i'm gonna try for a 80 percent dark chocolate so don't eliminate it completely and don't restrict yourself to the point where you can't eat okay okay then food i like food calories per tea tablespoon or grams um, i usually go by 50 grams 100 grams 150 and then 200 grams so i gave you an example like this whole book i give an example first so that you can see and then you can follow with your own and just to make it a bit easier so i have tuna oreos and that's weird anyway so i have tuna oreos and rolled dry rolled oats so for tuna i have 50 grams equals 66 calories 100 grams equals 132 for oreos two oreos is 106 calories four oreos is 212 calories so you can still eat the things you want to eat just make sure that your entire calories for the day for the purpose of weight loss if you want to lose weight your calories are going to have to be less than you are allowed to consume so let's say for instance if my calories are 2000 a day if i want to lose weight i need to consume less than 2000 which i would then say okay let's do 1700 um so that you have that 300 less than you're supposed to have hope that makes sense so i left some open blocks so you can go do some research about the things you like to eat and you would like to consume on a daily basis weekly basis and you can work out so that if you're like in a time crunch because that's when most of our like junk eating happens it's like when you're busy and you don't know what to do so if your things are already worked out here it's easy to go here and be like okay i'm gonna need this much tuna this much potatoes this much broccoli and then there you go and then you have like oreos chocolates popcorn amazing okay next page there's some more blocks and then you can actually work out meals you like. So you can say, oh, for dinner, I really liked tortilla wraps with some chicken and tomato. And I could have a tablespoon of low carb mayonnaise. So you could literally work out meals for yourself. So those are helpful. So you can use the information from this side and apply it to here and work out the calories of a full meal. Cool. And then moving on. Things that are good for my body, drinking enough water, getting sunlight, moving my body, enough sleep. I will still make a video on the importance of sleep because sleep is ridiculously important and <sighs> preaching to the choir. Yeah, and spending time doing things I like, fruits and vegetables and being kind to myself. Okay, this one is quite important these two are both important the one says you can't hate yourself into a version you are going to love um, a friend of mine andrea shared it with me and i absolutely loved it so on the one side you're gonna say things that you don't like about yourself as much so for me i would say i don't like the stretch marks on my bum and thighs because it makes me feel the way that i feel about them but then on the other side, you have to say something good about it, okay? So if you are saying something that you don't like about yourself, you have to correct yourself and give yourself a reason why you love it. So I said, I love having enough bum to fill my jeans and leggings. Yes, because we're all, all about the booty, the booty gains. They like the booty gains and the thighs and everything. So on this side, you are going to list the things you don't like only 
if you can correct yourself and give yourself a reason to like it and to love it because we are gonna love ourselves to the point where we really love ourselves and this side unhealthy habits i have healthy habits i would like to develop and an unhealthy habit i have is not sleeping enough i sleep like 45 hours a night which is really bad for everything i do just my brain my body my weight everything um so i'd say a bad habit i have is not sleeping enough and then healthy habit i would like to have sleeping 78 hours and then you have to hear, choose one habit at a time and then you have to make a plan on how you would fix it okay so for me i would say by switching my phone off at 9 pm being in bed by 10 and having no distractions so it's just like a way to fix it then something just something's like small i like i love like cute stationery and little books and notes and things so for this one it is just a water intake water is really important um just we need to stay hydrated i almost said fluidized <laughs> so um every drop represents 500 milliliters so you can print this out and just have it like on your desk or where you work and then every time you have 500 milliliters you can color in a water drop so it's just a nice way of keeping track of how much water you're drinking sorry i'm speaking so fast but my youtube videos have a time limit so <laughs> I have to be fast okay and then for this is just a rough just like a rough estimate of if you're planning a meal 50 percent of your meal should be vegetables and then 25 percent should be meat slash protein for those who don't eat meat and then 25% should be starches. So that's a nice, easy way of planning out your plates and your dinners and just meals you have in general. And then last one, the end for now. I am proud of you for taking the step of taking care of yourself. Love, Mel. Um, yeah, so that is it for the little book. Um, so to get this book you are unfortunately gonna have to leave your email in the comments for me and i will forward the pdf to you unfortunately with the low storage on my laptop and my lack of knowledge on google drive that is the easiest way for me to send it to everyone um and that way i can be sure that you actually got it um Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I'm going to try and cut this video short because it's getting so long. But I really appreciate all the feedback I've been getting. And I am going to try and educate myself on more things like nutrition, sleep, body, women's cycles, why women need different things from men, and then just life, being, yeah, discipline, workouts. So I will update this little book with maybe an actual book in a few months, depending on how I'm actually lying. I have so much time, especially with lockdown, so much time to learn and study and new, learn new things. But if you have any suggestions for something you would like to know more of, or you could tell me how you think I could make my next little book better, please let me know. Like leave a leave a note in the comments and I really take it to heart the fact that you're taking your time to spend it on me so that you can spend it on you I really appreciate um, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous day and please if you have any questions let me know I would love to help you um, yeah I hope you enjoy this book I am gonna go eat half a watermelon now okay I'll see you guys on the next video oh and if you like this video please give it a like um, leave a comment down below and remember to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Okay. Okay. I love you. Bye.